Deputy, Deputy Jonathan O'Brien, please. Thank you. Prime Minister, last night we heard 10 minutes of legal bluster from a bumbling Minister for Health in which he failed to answer some fundamental questions. The appearance of the Minister's name in Stubbs Gazette is as a result of him breaching an order of the High Court. Yet the Minister has given no indication to when he will comply with that High Court order. The Minister also directly contradicted his own register of interest as a TD. In his SIPO declaration, he stated that he transferred his nursing home interest to a blind trust. Yet we now know from the Minister's own mouth last night that that declaration was untrue. Excuse Tarnas me, excuse me, we cannot, this is not a court of law. The Minister has made a statement, you cannot accuse him of improper behaviour during any parliamentary question. There are other ways of dealing with this matter and if you care to contact the officials, they will advise you how to do so. Now, please refrain from accusing the Minister of something that he's not here to defend himself. I am not accusing the Minister. No, I, am, I am just repeating. I am just, you're accusing I am of, just of, of repeating what the, the Minister stated last night, Kion Kola, in relation to his own SIPO uh, declaration. Please proceed along and those lines. And as you know, making a false declaration to SIPO is a very serious matter. Sorry, again. You cannot state that the Minister made a false declaration to SIPO based on what was said last night. Now, would you please refrain from making accusations? Thank you. It appears from the Minister's statement last night that when he took office in March 2011 to the 12th of January 2012, that the Minister was in breach of SIPO guidelines. Tarnish said, the first question is, do you now agree that SIPO should investigate this matter? Secondly, Minister Riley has not dispelled the concerns we have regarding his conflict of interest. We have a Minister for Health presiding over hundreds of bed closures in the public nursing sector while being an acknowledged stakeholder in a private residential care home. Tarnish said, do you do you share these concerns regarding his conflict of interest? Thank you. Minister. Well, uh, the Minister for Health uh, came into the House uh, last night and he, he made a statement uh, about those matters. Um, I, accept that. I accept that statement. Um, the issue of uh, any member of the House uh, having uh, uh, private business interests is not, is not new. We have procedures as to how that is to be dealt with. There's a procedure requirement for a declaration to be made to SIPO, which applies to every member of the House. Uh, there is a requirement in respect of uh, office holders uh, that uh, they do not take an active involvement in uh, their uh, business affairs, that, uh, that there's a way in which uh, they put that at arm's length while they're uh, a holder of office. And uh, the Minister described how he had uh, done that in the course of his uh, statement um, uh, of his statement last night uh, and he also um, uh, informed the House that he had sought the advice uh, of SIPO uh, as is the appropriate thing uh, for him to do and that he has uh, complied uh, with that uh, advice. Uh, no, I accept uh, that uh, I accept that statement uh, the, in relation to issues relating to uh, conflict of interest. As I've said, there are rules which uh, govern the way in which uh, all of that is to be dealt with. It is uh, the procedure for declaration, uh, the procedure whereby ministers do, are, do not have an involvement uh, in any private uh, business uh, matter uh, while they are uh, an office holder uh, and where there's any doubt about any of those issues or where any individual office holder or member of the House has a doubt about those issues, uh, the place to go to is to, to SIPO uh, for advice, which is what the minister did on this occasion. Deputy O'Brien. Minister, or sorry, Tarnashe, it's clear that there's uh, a number of questions which still remain unanswered. For instance, the facts are that the Minister for Health is attempting to sell his share in a private, for-profit nursing home at the same time when the decision she's making is resulting in the closure of public nursing home beds, which will have an impact on the value of that share. Now, Tarnashe, do you still have full confidence in the Minister for Health who is in breach of a High Court order. Honest. Um, well, you can't have it both ways. Um, 
Uh, you can't on the one hand say that uh, there's a conflict of interest and on the other hand that he's disposing of the interest uh, that he has um, uh, in, the, uh, in the property concerned. Uh, the Minister, the Minister, the min well the Minister uh, informed the House yesterday of, of the efforts that he had made to uh, to dispose of, of, of that interest, and that's, that's on the public. That's on the public. That's on the public record, and he has uh, he has made that uh, he has made that clear. Um, uh, yes, I have confidence in the minister for health, uh, as I do in all of the uh, ministers that serve in this government. Thank you.